After protests in Uvalde over her hiring, Officer Crimson Elizondo was fired. She was hired months after the deadly shooting at Robb Elementary, despite being under investigation for her actions that day, waiting to take down the shooter. Documents show the Uvalde School District knew she was under investigation, but hired her anyway. They released a statement apologizing to the victims, families, and the community. President Biden issuing a stark warning about the war in Ukraine, saying Russian President Vladimir Putin is not joking when he threatens to use nuclear weapons on the battlefield. It comes as Ukrainian officials are investigating potential war crimes carried out by Russian troops and as men continue to flee Putin's partial draft, some even coming to the U.S., Alaska. Las Vegas police are still trying to determine a motive behind a deadly attack on the Vegas Strip yesterday. At least two people were killed and six others were injured in the stabbing. A 32-year-old man has been arrested. Police say he used a large kitchen knife to attack the victims and that the attack seemed to be unprovoked. At least 131 people are dead after Hurricane Ian tore through the southeastern United States. Yesterday, the Florida Medical Examiner's Commission reported two more deaths, bringing the death toll from Hurricane Ian to 126 in Florida alone. The Washington Post is reporting that federal agents believe they have enough evidence to charge Hunter Biden with tax crimes and lying on a federal form when he bought a gun. The federal investigation of Hunter Biden began back in 2018 and centered around dealings overseas going back to when his father served as vice president. The U.S. attorney in Delaware will decide whether or not to move forward with the case. President Joe Biden is pardoning people convicted of simple possession of marijuana at the federal level. He's encouraging governors to do the same for state offenses. He's also ordering a review of whether marijuana should be a Schedule One narcotic. A trial pitting Twitter against Elon Musk has been postponed, giving the Tesla CEO more time to get the financing together for the $44 billion deal to buy the company. This comes after Musk has spent months fighting to get out of the agreement before he resurrected the takeover this week. A judge is now giving both parties until October 28th to close the deal. Otherwise, she says a trial will take place in November. 29,000 more Americans filed first-time jobless claims last week. Applications rose to 219,000. That's the largest number in four months. Recent data suggests the job market could be cooling a bit, and that's something the Federal Reserve will consider when it meets next month about whether to raise interest rates again in the battle against inflation. After 100 days or so of dropping gas prices, they are rising again. One energy data firm is reporting a gallon of regular averaged about $3.80 this week. Analysts are blaming higher demand, tight supplies, and fuel plant maintenance for the increase. OPEC's decision this week to cut oil production is also expected to push prices up further. And that's today's 9 at 9.